thanks for joining us. Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the St. Louis Cardinals going up against the Oakland Athletics. John Shopey, Chris Singleton with you. And Siggy, the big bat in the lineup so far this year, Wilson Contreras. Leads the team at OPS, so he's the guy that looks to slug and basically make things happen for them offensively. Just a machine in terms of production at the plate. He'll take his walks, he'll barrel up the baseball, he'll the ball in the gaps, or hit the ball over the fence. So talk about a guy going good. That's him right now, and he's a bat that you want to stay away from if you're the pitcher. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. First pitch moments away and towing the slab, Paul Blackburn. It's always interesting to see how he utilizes all of his pitches and how many of those he has a good feel for on that given day. When he's right, he's really able to keep hitters guessing and all of his stuff seems to be coming out of the same arm slot, the same tunnel. And that can make life very difficult on his opponents. Now we take a check of the St. Louis Cardinals lineup. In the sixth spot for them in this one, Lars Newtbar. Well, right in the middle of this lineup, and that's exactly where he belongs. I mean, he's there for a reason, Luke. This guy, they know they can rely on it, and he's a force, a presence there that, you know, puts a little trepidation in that opposing yeah. pitcher. We'll see what kind of impact he has in this one. Paul Goldschmidt in the box now. No balls and a strike. Foul ball there. Hit it. Three pitch strikeout. All fastballs. Man, he's got a lot of confidence in that pitch right now. And that one is lifted in the air. Sizes this one up. He's got it. And that is out number three. No score as we head to the bottom of the first. Back here with my pal Ziggy. And today's starter, Lance Lynn. Well, he comes at hitters with a five-pitch mix, so for him, it's always interesting to see how he utilizes those weapons. He may lean on one or two pitches, depending on how things are going and how things... Oh, now this one's high and deep, way back there, on his way, gone! A gigantic blast. His second of the year, just like that, they move in front, it's one nothing. He only needed one swing to square it up. Not wasting any time in that at bat, Boone. Aggressive, and it paid off. That one ripped. That's back there. Say goodbye to that one. All muscle to center field. Third home run of the season. It's 2-0. First pitch hacking, and it paid off for him in a big way. Back-to-back -back jacks, and this club is fired up right now, dude. I mean, this is the kind of thing where you really start to notice hitters in a lineup feeding off each other, and the collective confidence just continues to grow. This is J.J. Blade. That one is absolutely belted. Hits the fence. Now we'll turn for second. And he starts his afternoon off right with a double. That's now three hits in a row for the offense. He absolutely ripped that ball out front and almost got it out of here, man. Just a really strong, balanced swing and a fraction of an inch different on the bat, and it is probably out of here. Contreras makes the grab one down. Here's Tyler Nevin to the plate. Swings and hits a fly ball, center field. Contreras squeezes it, and there's two down. Next up for the A's, Lawrence Butler. Swing and a ball hammered, left field. New bar, drop step going back. Pulls it in on the warning track. But two round trippers in this inning, the long ball was working. And it's two zip. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. And 
we're back. And now the veteran third baseman, Nolan Arenado. Pitch. That's in there. That's strike one. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. Late that time, and it's strike two. Boom. One of our favorites, Jerry Hillsdale, umpire behind home plate. This one pretty much by the book with his strike zone. And because he's so by the book, you'll sometimes see pitchers questioning him. They'll make a good pitch on the edge of the zone, want the strike, and not get the call. But most of the time, Jerry gets it right. He's a good one. And now it's Yvonne Herrera. Puts it in the air out towards left center. He's got it. And there's two away. Fans don't really understand the familiarity and relationship players and coaches have with umpires. I mean, you see them a lot. Yeah, but they're all out there trying to do their best and perform at a high level. So, for you... And there's the third out. That'll do it for the inning. Redbirds down quietly. They trail it here 2 nothing. Back now and a new arm of the mound to start the bottom of the second. Sonny Gray. Just trying to keep this one close here. And this is where a bullpen can give their players a chance to fight back into the game. Pitch. Swings and blasts one deep to left center. This looks like extra bases. Makes the turn and heads for second. And he greets the new arm from the bullpen with a double. He was all over that one. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Second. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. Herrera pulls that one down, and there's one down. And here's the first baseman, Ryan Noda. Lifted in the air, right center field. He makes the grab. Rudder tagging for third. Not in time, he's safe. Now here's the leadoff hitter for the A's, Abraham Toro. He's already homered in this game. Line drive, and it stays fair. In comes the run from third. It's three zip. Well, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. To me, it's just a really controlled, balanced swing. He wasn't trying to do too much with it. Just stayed disciplined, got the ball. Drilled out towards left center field. That's well struck. Goal! Another homer. His second home run of the game. It's five zip. With a load of these fastballs, you have to live on the edge. It's going to hit your spot. If you don't, you'll get hit hard. New pitcher for the Cardinals, Andre Palante. He's got a wicked breaky ball in his arsenal, and it's definitely one of his go-to pitches when he needs it out. And now it's going to be G.J. Bladé. Mind, and that's a base hit. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. Didn't try to do too much with it. Just a really controlled, simple swing. We don't see a whole lot of that these days with hitters trying to launch and hit home runs, but sometimes you got to shorten up just like that. Pulls it down, and he makes the catch. And that's the inning. The A's with a two-run blast as the A's are on top. Back after this on the show. Back in Oakland, new inning getting started. And stepping in for the Cardinals, Mason Wynn. This one popped up. Foul ground, first base side. Nova calls it in, and there's one away. So now here's the DH, Jordan Walker. That clips the zone, strike one. Blackbird, 6'1 righty, 195 pounds. A former first-round pick. Back in 2012. Up the middle, Hernias. Sends it to first. First two batters retired here at the top of the third. One out left for the Cardinals. And now the right fielder, Michael Ciani. Up and in, 1-0. and 
Two out, space is empty. And that gets the top of the zone for a strike. So, a foul ball makes it one and two. One strike away. Hit to right, and that should do it. And that'll do it. The A's get a shutout on the mound. Whether you're a season ticket holder or you just come to a couple of games a year, to see your team win at home, there's just something special about that. Good job by this team to get it done for the hometown fans. 5-0 the final in this one. Oakland victorious. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomby saying so long.